Hey everybody, it's me. Um, it is September 6, 2012, and it is 10, 10 p.m. I almost actually forgot to do one tonight. There, I really didn't have a reason to do one today because I didn't really do anything today. I don't have classes on Thursdays, so it wasn't really much for me to report. Um, I went grocery shopping so I can cook some things. I just got some simple stuff last week so I could, um, you know, get through the first week of being here. But the store I went to is a lot more expensive than the Tesco. Tesco was like Walmart. And the other store I went to is kind of like, um, probably like Harris Teeter compared to the, um, Tesco. So, um, sorry, I just read the text message from Brittany. I'm sorry, that's rude. But, um, I guess one thing I could bring up is that, um, when I was leaving the academic center, I had to go give my roommate agreement to the people. Um, I was coming out, and I wasn't really paying attention because I was putting, I was going through my purse, but there was this guy, this black guy, standing on the opposite side of the street. Well, I was the opposite side, but, like, I'm coming this way. He's standing, like, over here, you know, at the, um, at the thing. Oh, my God, something just popped up. Sorry. But he was like sitting on the other side. I'm walking. I'm digging through my purse, and I just glance up, to make sure that I don't get hit by a car. I already almost got hit by a car twice since I've been here. And he had headphones in, but when I looked up, he took one out. and He was looking at me. Now, at first I was, I don't know if he was looking at me. So I, I looked and I was like, who is this guy looking at? So I was just looking my purse. And so I keep walking, and I cross the street because I have to cross because they're doing construction right behind the academic center area because they're adding a um extra wing to the British Museum that's in the same area so I had to cross the street at that moment so I kind of walked diagonal instead of going straight across where I would have like ran right into him but you know diagonal I mean I wasn't thinking about um him trying to talk to me or anything like that I mean I was trying to get back and I, I mean I had to go to the store I had things to do so I wasn't really thinking about that plus I was going through my purse and trying to get hit you know because because people are crazy in London when they drive. They, they just keep driving. Um, bicycles are driving like cars. They keep going. People cross the street whenever they want to without the little green walk sign. And so that street didn't have a walk sign. So I had to kind of play it by eye. So um, I'm walking. I look up. He's like, you know, looking at me like this. And, and, I, and I kind of wave, smile, and keep going. <laughs> I mean... Because it's like, I'm not about to sit here and stop. I mean, I guess I guess I could have, but um, I guess I don't know. Why would I? I'm not the one trying to talk to you. You were the one, obviously, looking at me and trying to take your headphones out. You think I'm walking towards you. I mean, so, and on top of that, like, I'm walking. And then, I, then I, it seemed like I could see something in my peripheral, like, following me. And then I started slightly freaking out because I thought he was following me. So, I walk. I kind of saw I walk. And I turned the corner and I looked. He was on, I was like, okay, he's not following me good. Because I think cause he kind of was, like, he was going to say something. But I guess because I didn't um, turn around or anything, he tried to change his mind. But I just thought that was really one of the, like, one of the random things that happened today. I mean, I didn't get close enough to see if he was good looking or anything like that. He's the black guy wearing one of them, you know, them golf hats. I don't know. I guess they're not golf hats. But, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Them hats. That kind of, Colin, you know what hat I'm talking about. You used to wear those when you went golfing. Um, so, that's really all. Of course, I went to the grocery store. I bought some things I could cook. Um, you know, eggs, bacon, some, uh, breast fillet, chicken breast. So I can just, you know, some, uh, lettuce leaves. So I can, you know, make some salads and stuff. Just really simple stuff. But, like I said, it was, it's cheaper at Tesco than Sansbury. I went to Sansbury first, and I spent more on, this probably some, almost the same stuff. Like, maybe less stuff. In Sansbury than what I did at Tesco. It was a really cute boy at Tesco too. He was really cute. Um, he worked there. And then on top of that, I mean, I guess that's it. I, I could, I think I'm probably be getting some of my Shakespeare books from a girl who dropped the class. Um, hopefully I'll be able to buy those from her. Um, it, it's still, you know, it's a lot less than what they were all together. I think at, well, actually, I don't think that's true because. She doesn't have all the Shakespeare books and the ones on the list. I think it's probably the same amount that she paid the bookstore if I'm paying her. It's whatever. I mean, I'd rather uh, just get it from her, especially if it 
I mean, I don't know. I guess I could find out tomorrow since I'm not doing anything. Um, but I did find, I did get an email from Ashley Buchanan. She's a Ben and Bell, and she's doing um, a study abroad on their boat, you know. Um, they stop at different countries and stuff. And so she's coming into London tomorrow. So hopefully I get to spend some time with her while she's here for one day. And it was good to see a familiar face. So I'm, um, I'm actually happy about that. Of course, I'm missing out on, on seeing Sweeney Todd with Brittany because she told me tonight that she's going tomorrow. But, you know, I already, um, I knew about that. I knew about that, but I know it was, she wants to do it tomorrow. So I kind of already made the plans with, Brit with, um, Ashley. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I have another time to see it. So hopefully I will. Um, that's pretty much all really tonight. I don't really have much else to say. So, um, the same as every night. I love you guys. You know, keep praying for me and, um, keep looking out for pictures and for the videos. And, oh, I talked to Erin yesterday, my big sister. I was so happy to talk to her. We talked for a while. So, you know, Erin, I love you. Mwah. And, of course, you know, mom, dad, Isaac, Jada, John, and Jaira. Um, I love you guys so much. So, um, anyway, good night. Bye.